In 2012, a team of academics who were teaching strategy at RMIT University took the decision to try and reshape strategic management from a course that was basically conceptual in nature that required 250 students each semester to know the concepts and then repeat them in various forms of written language, um, what we thought of as strategy from a distance and convert it into something a little bit more meaningful. As it was, it was strategy that was devoid of meaning and what we really wanted to do was bring the experience back, make strategy as meaningful, strategy that matters. But we needed a vehicle for that and it was difficult to make such a wholesale change without having some sort of imprimatur. So later in 2012, an, option, an opportunity came along in the ABDC research project. The ABDC research project was funded by the Australian Business Dean's Council and only three were offered to universities around Australia. It involves the collaboration between cross-disciplinary teams in order to solve complex and wicked problems. All we needed was a partner with a complex and wicked problem and then we would be on our way. Fortunately, some of our contacts had um, members in the environmental movement. And so we started to think about what if we could shape the environment from within, what if we could save the environment from within a lecture theatre? The idea of being able to work on a, on a complex, wicked problem like being able to protect parts of the environment was, um, and then using cross-disciplinary teams to do that was exciting. So we started to think about it in terms of well, what I think of as a triumvirate. There was the project that we had to worry about, that's the ABDC research project and how we were going to manage that. There was the partner organisation who we had partnered up with as a mechanism or as a vehicle for being able to provide the context for the for the um, project and then of course there were the students. And so being able to com um, combine all of these three aspects of the project together in a way in which um, each area could collaborate with each of the others became a central issue for us. The way we th thought about going about doing that was to use collaborative software. We had some challenges in that it, and with a student body of 250 250 odd students and with a partner that only had a very small um, active membership, how do we go about changing the world through this collaboration, leveraging on what we already have while building on students' competencies without overwhelming our partner? We needed to use technology in order to be able to communicate and collaborate asynchronously. asynchronously. And so we came up with a structure in order to do that. The software that we used in order to be able to collaborate was driven mostly at the top end by Basecamp, which is project management software. We also used student-facing Blackboard and Google Moderator software, and then we used a feedback loop using the Rules Creek Landcare Group, our partner, their blog. Basecamp was instrumental to being able to drive the project. Think of it as um, cloud-based project management software for small teams. The research project needed to be able to figure out who had to do what, by when, and we needed timelines and tasks and activities for all that to occur. Um, primarily, the students saw the result of that with um, posting material to Blackboard. Riddles Creek Landcare Group provided us with a lot of material right at the start of the semester, and we were able to organise it and post it up to Blackboard in real time so that the students were able then to be able to go and analyse the information and then make some decisions about that. Of course, they had questions about the information that Riddles Creek Landcare, where our partner, had provided. And so we needed to find a way that our 250 students could communicate with this organisation without flooding them. So we instituted Google Moderator. Google Moderator is an online forum uh, where students can go in, write questions, vote questions up or down depending on what they think of their um, uh, popularity. And then Riddles Creek Landcare Group could go in and have a look at those questions. For the students, this was really important. It was um, difficult for us to find a way to be able to communicate and not overwhelm our partner. And at the same time, we needed a way to be able to organise information across a large cohort of students so that each student could see what other students were saying, but also to keep the, the structure of the small bi-weekly tutorials that we use. In week three, the Riddles Creek Landcare Group, our partner, came in and they did a lecture visit lecture visit and what they did is they spent an hour going through the Google Moderator form giving us some background about themselves and the context of the problem that they had and then using the Google Moderator form questions in order to structure their, their lecture. This meant that the students got real-time feedback from the questions that they were posting. Furthermore, the Riddles Creek Landcare Group had a blog. 
And it was really important for the students to see that the work that they were doing in the classroom was having an effect on the ground with the Riddles Creek Landcare Group. That they were taking these ideas that the students were putting forward and then building them back into their own organisation to be a bit more um, effective. So there were two cycles of this. We did that um, in the first cycle when we got all the students up to speed quickly on the context of the Riddles Creek Landcare Group and the problems that they faced. Um, brought the Riddles Creek Landcare Group in to do the to do a, a, vic, a lecture visit and provide some feedback. And then we did that again in week nine when the students had worked their way through um, a lot of the context and a lot of the problems that the Riddles Creek Landcare Group were facing as the students were trying to build a strategic plan for the Riddles Creek Landcare Group. All of this was managed through Basecamp in the back end and through Blackboard and Google Moderator um, at the front end and with feedback provided through the Riddles Creek Landcare blog um, to the students. It was really important though to remember that it couldn't all happen in the cloud, that even though there was a lot of collaboration that was happening asynchronous, asynchronously, um, that the role of tutorials was important. That face-to-face, -face, um, every two weeks we would have a two-hour workshop, that face-to-face -face contact was really important to the students while they grappled with the concepts of strategic management and then how to apply them. So when it came to assessment, instead of asking the students just to report on what it is that they know, the, the concepts that they had learnt in the lectures, what we asked them to do was write a strategic plan, to create a strategic plan that would have measurable outcomes down the track. So the assessment was tied to the real world outcomes of their collaboration and also being able to solve this complex and wicked problem that the Riddles Creek Landcare Group had. Results, well, at the time of recording this, results are still, official results are still not being released, but what I can tell you is that um, compared to last semester, uh, last year where we had the traditional strategic management course, um, results across the cohort seem to have improved. It's something that we're quite proud of. But ultimately what it is that we're, that we're proud of is that we were able to create a, a strategic management course where not only was strategy was meaningful, but the learning was meaningful. It wasn't just that strategy that mattered, but that it was the learning that mattered. Thank you very much for your time today.